Students, we are discussing about mergers and acquisitions and that we are discussing in the international context. Merger and acquisition can take place uh, between two companies uh, which are operating in the same country as well, but we are discussing it from the perspective of international management. So international merger or acquisition will take place with uh, uh, in, in uh, between companies which are operating in two different countries. So when companies are operating in two different countries, that means that uh, people from different countries will be coming to work in a foreign country. And who are those people? Those people are expatriates. So for example, if there is a merger between a company from UK and a company from Pakistan, and uh, the uh, in, in Pakistan, some of the people from UK will be coming to work in Pakistan as expatriates. So we want to know what is the role of these expatriates in the management of uh, the merger and acquisition and how do they affect the merger and acquisition. Uh, the, what is the importance of these people? Uh, first of all, these expatriates are representatives of the merging or acquiring company. Uh, so they are representatives of uh, uh, the uh, image of the uh, of the company. For example, if McDonald has come to uh, come to Pakistan, people who are coming from McDonald USA to Pakistan, they will be the face of McDonald for people who do who do not know in Pakistan what McDonald is. So the way they carry themselves, the way they act, the way they merge, and uh, the, the, the way they integrate and collaborate with the local people, that is going to represent what McDonald's is. Unko nahi pata ki USA mein McDonald's kis tarah ka Unko jo Pakistan mein log hain, unko wohi nazar aayega jo aapke expatriates McDonald's ke aake apni uh, um, apna image present karenge. So they are re representatives of the company. They are face of the company for the people who are uh, who belong to the local market. Then these people are responsible for knowledge transfer. Uh, whatever happens in the company, in, in the headquarters, in the rest of the company, in other parts of the world, uh, that becomes insignificant. Uh, what these people carry to the local market, what these people carry to that particular, com uh, that particular country, that is going to matter. What knowledge they have and how they transfer that knowledge. If they don't transfer that knowledge, if they are not friendly enough, if they are not open enough, if they are not uh, uh, skilled enough to transfer the knowledge of the company which is coming from outside, then it is going to be problematic. So these people are responsible for knowledge transfer from the headquarters, from the main company to the local market. Then these people are drivers of change management because they carry the strategy, the vision and mission of the company which is coming from outside to the uh, local market and they know what is the vision and mission of uh, the company and they are the drivers of change management. And then these people are responsible for cross-cultural integration. So these are the people who are the face of the company which is coming uh, from, uh, the foreign co uh, from the foreign country. And they are responsible for carrying out the cultural integration between the two cultures. So these are the ones who need to understand the culture of the local market. They are the ones who need to be proactive. They are the ones who need to be flexible. And they are the ones who need to understand and evaluate how much flexibility to show, which values to modify, which values to absorb, which values to transfer. 
सो दीज आर पीपल हु आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दिस क्रॉस कल्चरल इंटेग्रेशन ये भी ज़रूरी नहीं है कि आप मुकम्मल तौर पर अब जो लोकल मार्केट है या जो आपकी एक्वायर्ड फर्म है आप उस तरह के हो जाए ये भी ये दिस इज़ नॉट वॉट इज़ रिक्वायर्ड सो वॉट इज़ रिक्वायर्ड इज़ दैट यू नीड टू कीप अ बैलेंस बिटवीन हाउ मच यू कैन चेंज एंड हाउ मच यू हैव टू रिटेन योर योर ओन वैल्यूज सो दीज आर फॉर क्रॉस कल्चरल इंटेग्रेशन now factors behind uh, successful integration uh, when we see research we see we see different studies so it has been found uh, that the factors that lead to successful integration uh, those are number one managers industry experience usko industry ka experience so for example agar aap fmcg se taluk rakhte hain to fmcg ki industry ka aapka experience ho to सक्सेसफुल हो सकता है फिर यह कि आपका एक्सपीरियंस इन सिमिलर प्रोजेक्ट्स अगर है तो पॉसिबिलिटी है कि मैनेजर जो हैं वो ज़्यादा सक्सेसफुल होंगे देन योर लेवल ऑफ इंटर कल्चरल कॉम्पिटेंस हाउ मच यू आर कॉम्पिटेंट विद इंटर कल्चरल विद इंटर कल्चरल इंटेग्रेशन फॉर मर्जर्स प्रायर एक्सपीरियंस विद होस्ट कंट्री और एंट्री मोड इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट Uh, यानी अगर आपका उस होस्ट uh, कंट्री के अंदर पहले एक्सपीरियंस रह चुका है uh, या अगर आपका उस तरह की एंट्री मोड के अंदर एक्सपीरियंस है फॉर एग्जांपल अगर आप सब uh, कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग uh, करके एंटर हुए हैं या अगर आप फ्रेंचाइजिंग uh, करके एंटर हुए हैं अगर आपका फ्रेंचाइजिंग के साथ पहले से एक्सपीरियंस है तो मर्जर्स में दैट इज़ समथिंग विच इज़ ए विच इज़ एन इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्टर फॉर सक्सेस बट नॉट इन एक्विजिशंस देन अनदर फैक्टर इज लोकल लैंग्वेज स्किल्स दैट इज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर ईस्टर्न मैनेजर्स रादर दैन द वेस्टर्न मैनेजर्स वाई बिकॉज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्टर इन लैंग्वेज इज लर्निंग and for learning the direction of flow of learning is important so jahan se learning aa rahi hai jahan se knowledge aa rahi hai wahan ki language samajhna aur seekhna zyada important so agar aapko kitabein aur baatein aur sare case studies aapko english mein mil rahi hain to aapke liye zaruri ho jayega ki aap english ko seekhe bajaye iske ki wo log jo ke bahar se halanki hona aise chahiye ki jo bahar se aa rahe hain wo thode se log hain chand log hain seekhne unko local language chahiye lekin jo cheez is cheez mein इम्पॉर्टेंट है और वैल्यू रखती है वो ये कि फ्लो ऑफ लर्निंग की डायरेक्शन क्या है अगर फ्लो ऑफ लर्निंग जो है वो वेस्ट टू ईस्ट है तो फिर आपको इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज सीखनी पड़ेगी इवन दो यू आर लार्जर इन नंबर सो आपने देखा कि पूरा पाकिस्तान और बड़े सगीर जो है उसने इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज सीखी इतने छोटे से यू के ब्रिटिश रूल में जब ब्रिटिश जो है उन्होंने यहाँ पर आके हुकूमत की तो वो कितने थोड़े से लोग थे लेकिन उन्होंने सारे सब कॉन्टिनेंट को बल्कि उन्होंने सारी दुनिया को इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज सिखा दी बिकॉज द फ्लो ऑफ लर्निंग वॉज कमिंग फ्राम यूरोप टू द रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सो दैट इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट फीचर्स हु इज़ गोइंग टू लर्न हु इज़ लैंग्वेज इन द फ्यूचर द अकॉर्डिंग टू द रनिंग ट्रेंड्स इट अपीयर्स दैट द रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इज़ गोइंग टू लर्न द चाइनीज लैंग्वेज नाउ anyway so these are the factors which make a an expatriate manager more successful